What is up guys, it's for winner here, but you can call me Dominic, we are back here, oh wait, no, we're not back here, we are here with the Crisis on Infinite Earths review, so let's do this. In the beginning of the show, the monitor did an intro about the multiverse and about the heroes that are in the show, for example, Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, Superman, White Canary, Adam, and the others. Here, and other heroes that I have no idea who they are. But, anyways, we go to Earth 89 and we see a newspaper about Batman and the Joker and they, and then the sky turns red. Then we go to Earth 9, San Francisco, I think, that's how you say it, with Robin and a, another superhero that I don't know who he is. Then we go to Earth X, which who I think is the hero that is in Earth X, I think. I think he is, I don't know. Then we go to Earth 66, Gotham City, with a guy walking his dog, and then the sky turn red, red. Then we go to Earth 38, National City, I think, with a guy saying that Supergirl will not save you. Then she ha saves him. By what looks like a dragon named Spike that Supergirl knows, and then she touches him and he turns into a lizard. Then the world shakes and Supergirl goes to her team to see what that was, and they we talk for a bit, and then we go to Argo City with Superman and Lois, and they talk for a bit. Uh, then Supergirl tries to warn them about what is about to happen to Argo City with a portal thing, I guess? I don't know what it's called. But they used that, I guess. I don't know. So Superman puts his son in the same thing that his parents put him in to escape the world before it blew up. Then we go to Supergirl thinking that Superman, Lois and her mum are dead. Then we Stupid piece of shit. Um I don't know what I'm up to. Then we go to Supergirl thinking that Superman, Lois and her mum is dead. Then we go to Earth 1, Lee and you, with Oliver and Mia at the end of Arrow. You know, at the end of Arrow season 8, I think it was. So, uh, Lila comes and says the process is here. So, then we go to Earth 1, Central City. With the Flash and Lila comes and says the crisis is here. Well, the Flash says it. Barry Allen says crisis is here, I guess. So is the crisis here or something? I don't know. Um, then we go to Earth 1, Gotham City with Batwoman where she is looking for Alice. Then Lila comes and says crisis is here and we need your help. Then we go to Earth 1, Star City with the Adam and White Canary, aka Ray and Sarah, at a trivia game, Night Bar, Trivia Night Bar, then Lila comes and say, takes them. Then we go to Earth 38 with Supergirl and her team, then Lila comes with the others and they talk for a bit. Then they have a meeting and Lila talks about the crisis and what it is. Then Lila goes to see the Flash and the Legends and the others talk for a while. Yeah. Then Lila comes back with the others and they talk for a bit. And then they say that Superman's son is on Earth 162046. So Lois, Sarah and this other guy who I think is Brainy goes and gets Superman's son. 
Then we go to Superman and Supergirl and they talk for a bit. Then we go to Oliver and Mia and Oliver gives Mia a green arrow too. Then we go to Oliver and Barry and then Barry says that he will also die at the end of Crisis. Then Oliver, so Oliver wants to talk to the monitor and he says that he dies and Barry and Kara lives after the crisis. Then we go to the team and they are outside of the tower and thing and Supergirl, Superman and the Flash go somewhere else. Then we go to Earth 16, Bunny 46 with Sarah and the others in the bunker. Then Oliver fights Sarah. After Sarah beats Oliver, they talk for a bit. So in this world, Oliver thinks Sarah died. So yeah. Okay, cool. Um, then we go to Oliver, Mia, Batwoman, and the Adam inside of the tower thing, and they fight. But well, then these ghost things comes after them, and they fight them. Then Supergirl, Superman, and the Flash comes and helps them fight the ghost things. Then we go to the other people trying to get people off the planet before it blows up. Then we go to Star City 2046 on at at F uh, 16, and Sarah and Oliver talks for a bit. Then Brainy and Lois say that they need to go back home. Then we go to the team fighting the ghost thing, and then Superman and Supergirl goes to the top of the tower and uses their heat vision. I think. Then they fall and the Flash catches them and then they talk for a bit. The reason they fall is, um, I don't know. I don't know why. And then they talk for a bit. Then they fight the ghost things and the monitor says the battle is lost and takes everyone back. But Oliver shoots the monitor and says it's not over until everyone's off the earth. Then Oliver fights the ghost things. Then he runs out of arrows. Then he runs to the ghost things to fight them. His hand. And we go to Earth 1, Star City. And Oliver appears on the table, beaten up. And the team comes and they sit, talk for a bit. And then Oliver dies. And the monitor says he was not supposed to die. Then the show ends. Where do I start? I don't think Oliver is dead. He, he can't die on episode one. Like, come on. That's stupid. If he dies on episode one, the first episode of The Crisis, then I don't know. Does that mean Oliver is dead or something? Let's be honest. I might have cried a little bit, but he, you know what? I think some people did. If you're a fan of the show since the start, then you're, you would have cried from the start. I mean, he would have season one of Arrow and watched it all the way through. So yeah, that was a good episode. Um, I can't wait to part two. Part two will be uploaded tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more Crisis on Infinite Earths reviews. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more. Peace.